Alright, so the Bird of Prey is finally done. Thankfully, I don't have to look at this model anymore. So uh, next up, I'm going to be building a completely different model. I'm going to be building a Bird of Prey. This is the Klingon version. Uh, this is the model that I was going to be building. Uh, my first one to be lit, and I decided I'm going to light the Romulan one instead first, because that's going to be so much easier. Yeah, I don't make smart decisions. So back to this one. Uh, this is the reissue uh, for my round two of the old AMT kit. They included a bunch of extra bits, mainly the landing gear. There we are. So I'm going to be building it in the landed uh, position. Um, it will be lit. Uh, and my plan is to build it as um, the scene at the end of Star Trek III, the search for Spock when it's landed on Vulcan. So. Uh, it's going to be landed in a desert area uh, with all the because it lands at night, so there's lights on the the uh, the ship, and then there's also lights uh, like spotlights in the base that are shining up at the ship. So uh, it has the the uh, landing ramp here. I'm probably going to have to do some uh, scratch work in there. So um, I doubt they put any interior in here, so I may have to build a little hallway or something like that. Uh, I have to light the front, the little photon torpedo thing. There's lights here on the ends of the wings, and then there's like just one or two here along this upper hull section. I think maybe like one on the top or bottom. I gotta go rewatch the film again to make sure, but there's not too many lights. Uh, the problem is powering them. I'm hoping to get. Uh, keep the power inside the ship so I don't have to run wires down because uh, I really can't run them down through the landing gear. Maybe I can run them down the, the loading ramp. Um, I'll have to see. So, that's the plan. And this is going to be a heavily weathered sucker. It's going to be green, just a lot of muck and dirt and everything, so I'm going to weather it like it's a tank or something. So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna start putting a couple pieces together, together, and then I can start figuring out exactly what I need to modify, and I need to start comparing things to my um, my uh, reference pictures to see if I need to make any major alterations, and I also have to see how the new parts fit because I have to double check. Uh, I don't think. Oh. I do this by spilling everything out. Uh, I'll have to double check. I don't think the nose is that high in the air uh, on the original ship. Um, this thing's kind of leaning back. Uh, I'll have to check the original movie again to see if it's leaning it back that far. I don't think so. Hopefully it's a simple matter to lean it a bit more forward. But uh, we're going to find out. Here we go! Klingon Bird of Prey! So I have the tendency to um, go a little bit too far <laughs> when uh, building kits on occasion or I start modifying them and then I just get really uh, I really lose it at some point. Here's a good example um, here is the gun uh, on the ed ends of the wings for the Klingon Bird of Prey and I started doing some modifications uh, while cleaning it up I just decided to replace the uh, the front tip here and that would be drilled out and then some other little added on bits to uh, add a bit more detail and um, you know, then I decided well you know maybe I could do something with the gun and maybe I can do this and do that um, so this is where I where I ended up with I totally built rebuilt the gun uh, this is all out of uh, aluminum tube and uh, brass rod and this funky little thing here which actually happens to be just the right size is um, this odd little I don't know, not quite oval shape. I forgot what this was called, I guess. The steam line or something, I think, from uh, K&S Brass. And it just happens to be the right size and shape to replace this little thing here. So anyway, yeah, this is going overboard. Uh, rebuilding the guns. And the sad part is, this is like the first thing I pulled out of the kit. So I'm hopefully not going to 
do this to uh, the rest of the kit otherwise I'm never gonna finish this so there's that um, it's still a little bit more modification I have to do to it uh, one thing that's really wrong on the kit is this part here it's like a little rod on the left uh, that is actually supposed to be uh, completely off this tube and more up out here and along they molded it on as a one piece but it's not so I still gotta add that to here somehow just have it stick out here and then I could uh, where is the other part there's the other part and I sort of modified the end where it attaches not sure exactly what I'm doing here yet um, the little shield here also sticks out a bit so I'm gonna scratch build that as soon as I figure out how this attaches here it um, the reference photos I found it's not uh, super detailed uh, trying to figure out how to uh, how to get a screen accurate I know it attaches with a circular mount but uh, that's about all I can figure out so I'm just gonna make something up here and here's the other part of the wings also once again replaced with uh, aluminum tube I like working with the aluminum a lot better than the brass that I normally use it's a lot easier to cut and sand and everything so there's that and there you go hopefully I can finish this and uh, build the rest of the kit without making too many other major modifications because I know I have to build uh, part of it the interior for the landing ramp and I really I haven't even looked at that yet so hopefully that works out alright first part of this kit is done I got both of the uh, wing guns all assembled a lot more uh, scratch building than uh, than originally planned kinda of went overboard here so you can see just a lot of aluminum tubing and brass tubing and whatnot, and uh, this little whatever it's called brass piece here filled it in with some epoxy putty so it's solid and I made whatever this little shield is here I made one out of scratch uh, it's not a exact match for the one on screen but I really couldn't find a really close picture of it and it's going to be on the bottom anyway so it works and then I also just added some little greebles here to um, this is kind of a flat area not much well there's no detail because it's the back of the piece this is the only really cast piece so just add a bit more detail there and give more area for the uh, eventual weathering to work around so this is uh, done uh, hopefully I'm not gonna have to do t uh, the same level of uh, detailing work to any other part of the ship hopefully this will be the most detailed part and the rest I can build fairly fairly simple we shall see so I probably should have started by showing you this um, this is what I'm trying to recreate with Klingon, Klingon uh, Bird of Prey uh, this is the scene at the end of Star Trek 3 where they uh, land on planet Vulcan so uh, this is the effect I'm looking for uh, we have the lights here in the ship I gotta add quite a few more than I actually thought uh, there's even more maybe they'll show up in the next scene and the spotlights which will be really easy to add on the bottom so we don't need the sound Let me go back there one step. There's a good shot. So we can see all the extra lights here. These are the ones I didn't realize I'm going to have to be adding. Um, and these are all um, the rectangle shaped. So I'm not going to be able to use fiber optic for those. I'm going to have to. Um, I'm going to have to just put lights in it and then cut out the windows. Uh, which means I want to deal with light leak then, which is going to suck. Um, but um, I'm pretty sure I can't melt fiber optic into a, an oblong shape. But uh, there you go. So 
We got the lights on the wings, that'll be fiber optic. There's some landing lights on the bottom here on the top, fiber optic. Um, the rest is going to be regular uh, lit from just one LED and windows cut. Um, here, 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 there. Uh, I have to light the front, the torpedo tube, which is going to be the really hard part because uh, that's a clear piece on the model kit and um, only certain parts of it are supposed to be lit, this outer ring, so uh, that's going to be hard trying to light just that and keep everything else dark. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe I could paint the whole thing with a really thick black enamel paint and then wipe off the areas where I want the paint to shine, the color to shine through. I'll have to see. I uh, also need to add red lights, one on each side here. Again, that'll just be a big LED, one on each side probably. And then the uh, landing lights as well. So, quite a few lights in here. And here, okay, here's the main scene. This is what I was picturing when I decided to build this. Um, oh, of course, I got to light the engine. Um, and then we have the landing ramp. And I'm probably going to put some lights in there. I'm not going to add the, uh, the little people. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. So there we have it. Uh, that is the plan. Hopefully everything works out, and uh, well, we shall see.